Welcome back. This is Iggy for Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. Today we're going to be looking at Western Town by Ideal Toys. This particular toy was produced in 1970. It's a suitcase style playset and it's made out of cardboard covered in vinyl and it's combined with a vacuum form uh, terrain piece. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's take a quick look at what we have here. Now it had it features artwork on the front. <coughs> Pardon me. And the artwork is meant to showcase what is actually within. It has a toggle switch uh, uh, clasp on the top here and a handle. And then the rest of the case is a light blue vinyl. Uh, it's unadorned by any artwork. It's in fairly good condition. It's clean. It doesn't have any streaks, scuffs, or marks on it. Uh, it is wrinkly, but considering that this uh, case is 52 years old, I think it looks pretty good. When I was 52, uh, I don't think I looked as good. I had some wrinkles, I guess. All right, so let's open it up and take a look at the playset, okay? It's got a little snap there and another one. I guess that one's not shut, so let's just fold it out. Okay. All right, so the first building that comes to my attention is the hotel, and it's a two-story building. I kind of like that they did that. It's got uh, the saloon doors here that swing open and closed. Now, they're a little bit stiff, though. Uh, it does have a boardwalk that's made of the uh, styrene vacuform plastic that encircles uh, most of the, the building here. Um, you can put figures on the second floor. It does not have a roof on it, though, as you can see there. And then as we come through the main part of town, we see a water trough. This is vacuum-formed. It has a pump over here. And that's not too bad. Then there's a small, what appears to be, barn. It says something there. I can't make it out. What's it say? I Unfortunately, I can't read what it says. It's too small. Uh, then we go across here, and there's a cave. It's got a little sign there that I can't see because I'm not wearing my reading glasses. It's got a cave. And then there's an adobe over here, or at least uh, when I read the description, it said this is an adobe. Uh, it's very small. Look at my hand next to it. Uh, that's somewhat unfortunate, I'm afraid. And it's got a well. So let's continue on. Uh, we'll flip this to the side a little bit. This over here is a livery stable. Sorry about my hand getting in front of that. There. And that's the stable. It's, I think it's missing the roof. I found something that might be the roof, but I'm not sure. I'll have to show it to you anyway. And here's the uh, main street. And I like the uh, the boardwalk that goes along the front here. I thought that was a cool idea. However, the artwork is really substandard. It looks like it's really cartoony. I, I think even little kids would be disappointed in this. I mean, look at that. It looks like... Uh, the guy who works in the mailroom had his daughter do this. And she's in the third grade. <laughs> do you remember the Pink Panther? It looks like uh, background buildings in a Pink Panther cartoon. 
Um, I can't say enough bad things about this. That's very disappointing. I expected something far better than that. Okay, there is, I, I will point out some of the good features. Though. This was a brilliant idea. You open this up and, and there's the storage for your um, cowboys. Uh, and while there's no, there's no Native American, I, I, would, I was going to say Indians. I did say Indians. We're not allowed to say that anymore, are we? You know, I've outlived my culture. My world has been turned upside down in the last 30 years. It, it's, it's, no, it's no longer the world I grew up in. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. Uh, so it came with a wagon, which is somewhat small, uh, scaled back. Uh, the hitch is broken off. I did find the hitch in here somewhere when I first looked at this. I don't see it now, but there is a hitch for this. Uh, I thought this might be the roof for this because it's the right size, but I'm not sure why it's got snaps. Because I thought, I'm not sure. I don't think this is supposed to go on here. Because, like I said, why would they put those snaps there? Anyway. Uh, the horses are not too, but they are small. As you can see here, this one's sort of prancing. It's like a lipizzan or a horse or whatever they call those. And a lot of the paint has chipped off. And it's not painted too well. Let's see here. This one, he missed the painter, missed the eyeball. So it looks like he has two eyes on the left side of his head. So I guess uh, if there was predators uh, watching the wild horses or whatever, they go, you know, hey, Frankie, what's up with the horse with the two eyes? I don't know, but I think he's looking at us. I don't think wolves talk like that, do they? They probably have German accents. Uh, the cowboy poses are not too bad. Uh, they look the cowboys are small. They look like they're two inches. Uh, the poses are pretty good, or fairly good, and the paint jobs. Uh, like I said, they're all all the paint has been chipping off for the last fifty two years. And it looks like everyone is in a gunfight in this town. Must be Bodie. That was a violent town. People would get drunk and bored because they're out in the middle of nowhere, like Calico. And they would lose at cards and then start shooting people. Kind of like Chicago, I guess. I guess Chicago is the new Wild West. I think this video is going to piss some people off. I I would apologize, but I'm too tired at this point to care anymore. Um, so I give the concept an A. The execution of the concept, I give an F. I, I got to say, of the things I've purchased recently, this is the most disappointing. I was really excited when I saw a picture of it on eBay. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I, I guess I don't want to remember because it's more than I should have. Um, to give you some idea of the small scale of these things, let's take this wagon here and go over here and we'll compare it to this Marks wagon. Now here's the Marks wagon. And we'll put this, you can see the difference there. That's, Yeah, that's too bad. I prefer uh, 132 scale. Even in 132 scale, this wagon would be considered a little on the small side. But this is like 
way. This is like a child's wagon, play wagon. Okay, guys, so that's um, this play set probably would have been a hit if it had been released in 1960. By 1970, kids had become weary of play sets. The, the popularity of the play set was in its final years. It was beginning to decline. Uh, sales had started to drop. Um, Sears catalogs started not featuring... Uh, the double page spreads of Mark's play sets anymore. There was a brief revival in 1972 when the Heritage uh, play sets came out. Uh, Louis Marx's son approached Sears catalog and said, Hey, you know, I got an idea for some play sets. How about it? And, and Sears said, Okay, well, let's go with it. And uh, they put a lot into it in advertising. They hired uh, Walter Cronkite uh, to do the advertisements, and they came out with an Alamo set, a Civil War set, a Revolutionary War set, and I'm missing one. Alamo, Civil War. Oh, Revolutionary War, Civil War. So four sets they came out with, and it was it was a big hit. Um, but it wasn't enough to revive play sets. Now, Marx did manufacture play sets until the end of their um, business life, I guess. They finally went under in 1980. Uh, Louis Marx sold uh, the company, I think, in 1972. I'd have to look that up. But anyway, uh, Ideal went out of business not too long. They got absorbed by um, Tyco, and Tyco got bought out by Mattel, and then Mattel just disbanded both of these uh, uh, companies, and so they were now part of history. Uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, in this case, this place said, in 1970, it was inevitable that it might not do so well because even Westerns weren't as popular as they used to be in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and early 60s. The Western had become very dark and cynical. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I don't think the kids wanted to role play it anymore. And their mom wouldn't buy them cap guns. So, you know, you put on the cowboy hat and you don't have a cap gun. So all of it just faded away. Um, for me, this was a disappointment. So if you see this on eBay, I would just pass by it. it it's, I don't think it's worth your trouble. I'm sorry to give you a negative review like this. Um, I much prefer to give happy reviews, but this is just, this is, doesn't cut the cake, so to speak. So that's it for me, Iggy. Thank you for getting Iggy with it. And, uh, I hope all of you are well. Uh, remember to subscribe. I don't blame you if you, if you don't give this a like. <laughs> it's kind of negative to give it a thumbs up. But, uh, that's it for me. I'm signing out. Good night, everyone.